Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Full Potential Show. I'm James Rick, and this is your number one non-boring source for personal development. Today on the line, we have Sunny Johnston. She's a spiritual teacher, a speaker, author of Invoking the Archangels, a nine-step process to healing your mind, body, and soul. The theme for today's show is how to invite the healing power of angels into your life so you can heal on many levels. You can learn more about Sunny at invokingthearchangels.com. And if you hang on to to the end of today's interview, you're going to get a free download of Sunny's Positive Affirmation CD. We'll tell you how to get that in just a moment. Sunny, thank you for being on today's Full Potential Show. Thank you for inviting me. I'm excited to be here. Now, to, to Sunny's credit, we actually did a recording last week. We had some technical issues, and here she is again. I said, you know, the angels are at work. This is going to be the best interview yet. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Happy to be here again. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully this is the right time. This That's is the one. Right. Right, All so- divine time, right? <laughs> So, Sunny, talk to me about, first of all, what are angels? What, you know, what are angels to you? Because some people, it's all semantics. You know, it, they might believe in them, but they believe not in angels, but a higher power. What are angels exactly? Well, angels really do actually come to you in the way you believe them to be. So, um, for some people, they are a beautiful winged being, like we see in the pictures. Um, for some people, they are like a, a light, but they're really just an energy. That's it really, it works on a vibrational scale, and they're on the high end of the vibrational scale. So, you know, we've got the physical beings, us, we're dense, um, deceased loved ones, a little less dense, spirit guides, a little less dense, the angelic realm, a little less dense, and then we've got, you know, the divine, the God of your understanding, whatever that is for you. Now, now how do you know this structure? I mean, is this something you read? Is this something you feel? Is this something you experienced? Well, I started, um, I saw my first angel when I was 13 years old. I started working with them at that time on and off throughout my life. Um, a lot of times during my teenage years, more off than on. Um, and so this is all experiential. Actually, my entire book and everything that I've written about and, and teach about is all based on my own experience. So it isn't necessarily, um, you know, what the Bible says or what any other book says. It's, it's experience that I've had and how um, the angelic realm has shown up for me to help me to heal um, my heart, my body, you know, my mind, and, and to move through really challenging times in my life. But let's shift gears and talk about that because it doesn't really matter what you believe this energy to be. Because like you said, it'll take shape or show up for you in the way you can best relate with it. Correct. So so now what does that mean in terms of what shape does it take for you? And then how is it useful to have these angels or this energy in your life? Well, um, the the shape that it takes for me now, so when I was 13, I I saw the angels as these beautiful, colorful, winged beings like I had seen in pictures. Um, As I've evolved and grown, now they come to me just as an energy. Some people um, will say that, you know, they're like a, um, some people refer to them as like an orb, um, just an energy of light. Mm -hmm. Um, The angelic realm, for me, I feel them. And a lot of people are clairsentient, they're feelers. Mm -hmm. So um, the majority of people feel that presence, that unconditional love, but don't recognize that that's what it is mm. um, so so for me I'm, I'm a feeler and I've always I felt them around throughout my life but I didn't always recognize that that's what it was and um, and why should we call them in or how do we call them in or what's the purpose really for me has is been it just a phone Sonny do we just need to pick up the phone Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Call them in. Hey, bring on the angels. Yeah, just an energetic um, phone line. Absolutely. It can be a thought. It can be a feeling. It can be words, external, internal. It can be written. Um, you know, as soon as you call them in, their presence is is there immediately. And, and I've had firsthand experience of that many, many, many times. So it really is setting the intention, asking for help, and then being open to receive. That is a key, open to receive. Do you feel like they're here right now as we have this show? Absolutely. Absolutely. They're, they're always, for me, I, I call um, my angels in every morning. Um, I always specifically ask for Archangel Michael to surround me, um, to help me to guide me and to help me to maintain my own energy because as a sensitive person uh, myself, I tend to absorb the energy of other people. I tend to kind of take on people's emotional pain, specifically physical pain. Um, and so I always work with Michael and ask him to surround me, and I and I invoke that energy and visualize his energy surrounding me so that I can maintain my own energy so that I can be me, not me with everybody else's energy kind of 
absorbed into me, if that makes sense. It does. For people that are you're, 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 yeah. more, you're more sensitive to other people's energy. So now, because your boundaries are a little less distinct, <laughs> it's easier for them to influence you. And you want to have some sense of boundaries so that you're not driven crazy by all this energy around you. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a good way of putting okay. it. Okay. Yes. And, yes. and now it sounds like most of the work these angels do are in the energy realm. I mean, it's not like we can start delegating phone calls and, and daily routines to them. Do you know, go take the mail to the post office. <laughs> if it's, there's a way to do that, I'll figure it out. But I, I, I that, maybe that's the next book. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How to get them to do common chores around the house. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but so it's mostly this energy work then, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, that's the way I experience them. Some people do have physical, you know, vis see them in, in, in what we would say is a physical form. They can manifest into physical form. Sometimes you'll hear stories about people that'll say, you know, this, this person came up to me and pulled me out from underneath my burning vehicle, but then there are no footsteps in the snow. Um, that can be an angelic energy that comes into physical form and 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 creates a change or a shift for us and then um moves back into that spirit realm so it is possible but do i experience that typically no okay so they're, they're going to show up but more to do miracles not to do your yeah. your daily grind type of stuff that's our work that's the yes. stuff we need to do that's why we're here <laughs> that's yes. what we're doing mm -hmm. all right and so how do we start invoking <laughs> them i mean and and in what case is it appropriate to, to ask them for help? You know, I mean, do you ask them for to help you financially? Do you ask them to heal you physically? I mean, when is it appropriate to invoke them? And then let's talk briefly about, you know, some of the simple steps somebody could take to start bringing them into their life. Uh, you know, that's a good question. Nobody's ever asked me that. When is it appropriate? You know, I, I would say whenever you feel the need for help or support, it's appropriate to ask. And no matter, at least you can ask. They can always say no. Well, the, well it, it can always be manifested in ways where you still have to do the work. But being able to ask, I think that's what we need to learn in this physical realm, is learning how to ask for help and then be open to receive it as well. So in any area that we are challenged, we can always ask for that support. That doesn't mean that it's just going to come on a silver platter and, oh, here you go, here's $20,000. That's not necessarily the point. The point is more to um, be able to be aware of the purpose and what the situation is and why it's happening. Give me a, a greater vision so that I can walk through the journey in an easier, gentler way, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, because that, that really is, for me, that's what's happened is, you know, <laughs> Excuse me. It hasn't been that my life has been, you know, just just easy. I haven't had any challenges after invoking mm -hmm. them. What it has been is that I'm able to um, make that connection, feel that connection to to my um, my own um, spirit, um, my angels, my guides, my helpers, and because of that, feel much more guided, much more focused, much more intentional than attracting guidance, focus, and intention mm -hmm. into my life. It's an interesting point that you bring up too when it comes to gentle and more enjoyable experience of the lessons because sometimes we experience hard lessons in life because we weren't listening when the gentle and enjoyable lesson was taking place. <laughs> yeah, it has. You're so, I mean, it's totally the, the angels come to us through subtle messages. And if you're not present, you know, so many people are focused way ahead or in the past. And if you're not present in this moment, you miss those subtleties and the subtleties is where spirit is speaking to you the loudest now if if they've been showing you and showing you and showing you and giving you those messages then yes it gets a little bit stronger and that's when the challenges come up so it isn't that they weren't there in the beginning it's that um, we were kind of busy focusing on the past or the future and not paying attention the whack is a yeah. loving <laughs> lesson but you don't need the whack to right. learn in this lifetime we do not need the whack we've all had enough whack I think <laughs> we, we have <laughs> All right, so how do we start this process? I mean, people that are watching right now, myself included, we want to have more angels in our life. They sound pretty cool. It sounds like they would be an enjoyable experience and would add richness to what we're doing. How do we start bringing more of these angels or this higher energy into our life? You know, um, the number one and really the only answer is just to start asking. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to have some formal prayer. Um, you can, and that's fine, but that's not necessary. No ritual, no dance. Doesn't have to be any of that. Now, if you enjoy that, you like that, <laughs> you sure. If you want to, but you don't have to. Absolutely. If you want to do that and that feels in alignment for your spirit, then that's totally cool. But it, it's not necessary. It's really even not necessary to know, you know, which archangel you work with for which cause. You don't, you don't need to know that because you know the the truth of the matter is angels don't have names they're not sex you know they're not male or female 
Um, and that's just for us as human beings to organize them. So really, it's just asking with an open heart, allow yourself to receive. And so that can be, you know, angels help me or please, I need some guidance or I need some direction. Or um, it can be a prayer. It can be a mantra. It can be a song. It can be anything um, where you just have that that intention. It's okay. simple. We simple. make it way too we, we much, may, way too hard. Super simple. Okay, super, so, yes. so and one of the things that we talked about in the last interview that makes it also possible to kind of slow down the chaos is to meditate first. Yes. To go yeah. into a state of peace and slower mind so that when you're asking, maybe you're asking with more clarity and, and you're also more present to the answers that will unfold throughout your day. Well, you're and yeah, and presence. That's the word that stands out for me. Is when you are met in meditation, it, you're creating that connection and saying, "I'm present, and I, I am willing to be present. I'm connected to my spirit in this physical form. I'm connected to my spirit, and I'm listening. And so I'm present in this moment. From there, then then the journey it does get so much easier and more gentle. And that's what so many people want. They they don't understand why. <laughs> excuse me, why, why so they have hard. all these challenges, yeah. It's because you're not present to the journey. Right. We're, so we're you don't see the bumps creating. before they come. You, you you could maneuver around them. There's lots of things you can do when you're in a state of presence to prepare and to learn from this experience right now. Absolutely. And when you don't have the expectation, when you haven't created the plan, then you're not disappointed when it doesn't work out the way it does and you just go with the flow and allow mm. the universe to bring you even amazing gifts that you never could have created yourself had you been focused on just the plan that you were putting ahead of yourself. I just want to reiterate some of the key points and then we'll go on to how to get this positive affirmation CD. Uh, so okay. it's really having this openness. You know, if you're skeptical about the idea, just hold back a little bit of that skepticism and be more open because <laughs> you're not going to sense that higher energy if you're not at least open to it. So have that openness, ask, be in a state of receptivity and look throughout your day with presence at where the answers are coming from, what messages are coming into your life. And truly, this is how the path sort of unfolds and you experience it for yourself. Right, Sonny? Absolutely. You got, you got it. That's a nice, simple put way. Perfect. Boom. Got yes. it. Okay, Sonny, how do we get the positive affirmation CD? Well, you can go on to my website. Um, you have the um, link, though. It's www.invokingthearchangels.com forward slash pause affirm something. It's, I, I got it. I got it right here. Pause okay, af promotion. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pause af promotion. And so it's invokingthearchangels.com slash pause af, A F F promotion. And there's that's it. That's it, right? And you can get you can pick up your positive affirmation CD right there. Uh, Sunny, thank you for making it so simple to start bringing these angels into our life. And we can do a part two when you start getting them to do the chores and the oh, delegating. Yes. <laughs> you know, kind of the free labor bit. Let's let's talk about that when it happens. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm uh, I'm in it. Yes. All right. All right. Sonny Johnston, InvokingTheArchangels.com. I encourage you now to go there and uh, get the Positive <laughs> Affirmation CD. That's InvokingTheArchangels.com slash promotion. And be sure and like and subscribe to Full Potential Show so you can get more great insights from wonderful people like Sonny and freebies that you'll only find right here on the Full Potential Show. Thanks again, Sonny. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, that concludes this week's episode of The Full Potential Show, your number one non-boring source for personal development. I'm James Rick, and if you want to get more positive programming for your brain absolutely free on a weekly basis, just visit fullpotential.com. If you like The Full Potential Show, you're going to love The Full Potential Club. What would you like most as a Full Potential Club member? Be two to three times more productive? Do what you're passionate about? Have more energy? Reduce your work hours? Travel the world? Enjoy an amazing lifestyle on a frugal budget? What if you could do them all? James Rick has been there and done it in ways that few people have. For anyone serious about taking their life or business to the next level, you know you've got to do more than just watch. You've got to do. Join James Rick and other like-minded people for an incredible $10 a month at fullpotential.com slash club. Be educated, be empowered, be the best version of you. Fullpotential.com slash club. Try it free for 30 days.